16th notes aren't quite as scary as they look. This is a set of 16th notes. A set like this is equal to four sounds on one beat. This is a measure of 16th notes in 3-4 time. Notice that there are three sets. Each set is four sounds on one beat. Here's how we count 16th notes. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. It's important that you enunciate one E and an a, or two E and an a, etc. because each note has a different sound. This is a 16th note by itself. A single 16th note is worth one quarter of a beat. This is a single 16th rest. It is worth one quarter beat of silence. This is a measure in 2-4 time of 16th rests. Notice that there are eight of them. Remember that four 16th notes or 16th rests equal four sounds or silences on one beat. You count 16th rests the same way that you count 16th notes. The difference is that with rests you count in your head. That's why these counts are in parentheses. One E and a, two E and a, just like 16th notes, but you say them in your head because these are beats of silence. Sixteenth notes do not always come in sets of four. Sometimes the beat is divided in an uneven way, like in this measure. Each set of three notes is one beat, but it's divided into short, short, long, short, short, long. Let's learn how to count this. Using what we've learned, we know that 16th notes are labeled 1, E, AND, and A. Uh. We also know that the last two 16th notes of a beat are labeled AND and A. Uh. These notes are the last two 16th notes of each of their beats. That is why they are labeled AND and A. Uh. Just like normal eighth notes, the first eighth note in each of these beats will be labeled as a number. The E will be silent because it is taken up inside the numbered beat. Let's count together. Ready, go. One and a, two and a. The beats can be divided the other direction also. This measure of 3-4 time has beats unevenly divided. They are divided into short, short, long, short, short, long. Think about what you might label the two shorts. Think about what you might label the long. Above the rhythm there are some eighth note skeletons written. These are just the skeleton to this more complicated rhythm. Since 16th notes are labeled 1, E, AND, and A, uh, and the first two 16th notes are the number, in this case 1, and E, then the first two 16th notes in each of these beats will be the number and E. The second 8th note in each beat is not tricky at all. Think about what you would label the second 8th note in a normal set of beats. Would you label it a number? or an and. Hopefully, you deduced that the second eighth note in each of these beats is an and, just like the second eighth note in a normal set of eighth notes would be an and. Let's count together. Ready, set, go. One E and, two E and, three E and. Using what we just learned, think about what you would label each of these rhythms.
Hopefully your answer would look something like this. Let's count together. Ready, set, here you go. One E and two and a three and a four. Your challenge this week is to count successfully and accurately a rhythm that your ninja master will provide to you.